Hello Crafty Budgeters and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany. On this channel, we are working to craft a budget and a lifestyle to become debt free. Y'all, this is a new type of video that I am bringing to this channel. It's a food challenge. I am doing a food challenge finally. I have loved watching so many other YouTubers do different types of food challenges, whether it's different stores that they go to or different amounts that they do for their meals for the week or sometimes the month. And now I get to be a part of the fun. Are you excited? I'm excited. The most awesome thing about this, I don't even know if that's the right way to say it, but I'm going to say it right now, is that I get to do this challenge with two of my budgeting friends, Rochelle from Rochelle Adamson Budgets and Kristen from Intentional Living. We are doing this food challenge together. We all do a video extravaganza or a lineup at the end of every month, and so we thought, Let's do something together and why not do something totally different than our normal videos about budgeting, paying off debt, saving, all that jazz, and do something that has to do with food. Who doesn't like food? We do. It still has a little bit of a connection to budgeting because a lot of times people overspend, including myself, on groceries and eating out and that kind of blows the budget. And so this challenge is really going to see how we can stick within the budget for what we gave for ourselves. So first, before I go into the details of what this challenge is about, if you are not a part of the Crafty Budgeter fam, what are you waiting on? Hit that subscribe button. We have fun over here. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I am working to get my family out of our $175,000 worth of debt that we started with in 20. 20 and we are doing damage on that. You can look at some of my other videos. We do budgeting uh, setups, we do weekly check-ins, cash stuffing, but it's all around getting to our goals, which is to become debt-free and just to be more intentional with our money. So while all of that introduction is out of the way, I'm going to go through and talk about what the guidelines are for this challenge. It's really easy. There are two specific criteria that we set for this challenge. The first one is that we are going to just be spending $100 for the week on everything that has to do with food. So groceries, eating out, anytime that you get some food, we have $100. Now y'all, to give you a little bit of context, typically I give myself $125 for my husband and I. We do have a toddler son and we give ourselves $50 for eating out so not everybody's trying to cook every day and we always like to eat out on the weekends or just order something and bring it back home and so that is where the $50 comes from so that's $175 that we are putting towards food for the week and we're cutting that down to $100 I'm nervous what do you think do you think we can do it I don't know. So that's the first criteria. And the second criteria, we try to find a place that we all can go to for our grocery shopping. Um, we all live in different places. Rochelle lives in Hawaii. Um, yeah, so it's just, we got to figure out where we all can go. And Walmart was probably the best place that all three of us could go find some food. Um, we have other grocery stores in our areas, but the, it's not the same across the board. So we wanted to find a place that everyone could find and go shopping and do their food. And then whatever you do outside of grocery shopping, do you boo. So two things, $100 for the week for all the food. And then the second thing is that we are going to Walmart to do our shopping. So <sighs> I had to really think about how am I gonna make this happen? Because like I said, normally I, we have $175 that we work with for our food for the week and now we just have a hundred. So the first thing that I did was to really think about what's already in my house. So when you are thinking about meal planning, just really cutting back on your grocery bills, pro what you get at the grocery store, the first thing that I have read is that you should go grocery shopping in your house. So ch check your refrigerator, check your freezer, check your pantry or your food closet and see what you already have. And that's where you start because then you don't have to go out and buy all of the things if you already have some stuff ready to go at home or meals or not food ready to use when you are creating your meals. So that's the first thing that I did is that I went into my 
kitchen, figure out what I had already in the house. And then based on that, I went and did some research on what foods I could or what meals I could make from those foods that I already had in the house food and spices and all that jazz. And so where did I go? Pinterest. Pinterest is my number one place that I go to find meals. Now I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Your girl doesn't really like to cook. I, I'm not the, the, the cook of the family. Mr. Crafty Budgeter is the chef. He cooks amazing foods. I don't like cooking. I don't like meal planning. I don't like any of that stuff. So this challenge is really for me because it really is gonna help me to like just see what it's like to meal plan, get a recipe, cook it, or use something that I've already um, cooked before and make it. It's just, it's not fun for me. I know, so everybody has things that they enjoy and cooking, I will, I can do it if I need to. Like I lived on my own before I got married and it was fine, it survived, but it's not like I'm so excited to cook, <laughs> but I know it's important. So what I did is I went to Pinterest and I found three different recipes that I want to cook for our dinners. And I'm really focusing on dinners because when I went into the pantry, I realized, or I'm gonna say pantry, into the kitchen, I realized that I already had leftover breakfast items. So my son eats yogurt every day. We already had cereal, I had some pop tarts. We had some fruit already left over from the week before. Perfect, I don't have to buy any of that stuff. And then for lunches, we're just going to be doing kind of leftovers. We have some hot dogs in the in the um, refrigerator. So I'm just going to really be focusing on dinners for this challenge because for everything else, we're just gonna have to figure it out. We're gonna figure it out and whatever we have in the house, you better figure it out and eat something. <laughs> So the three meals that I came up with is the first thing is I knew we had frozen chicken in the freezer. So I am going to be doing chicken tacos, which is really easy. And these meals, I, I don't want it to be very hard or that it's going to take me a lot of time. I want to set it and forget it pretty much. I'm a crock pot girl as well. So I love to just put everything in and then it does the work on its own. So chicken tacos is the first meal. The second meal, I'm going to be doing some pork chops. And then, well, I'm not actually going to be cooking them. Mr. Crafty Budgeter is going to be cooking some pork chops and, well, frying some pork chops. And then I'm going to be doing a stuffed pepper soup because all of those are a little bit different, right? It's like gives me a little bit of the different styles of meals that I can make, but then it's also really easy that I can just, again, put it in and leave it to go. So that's the, that's the plan. That is what the weekly meal plan is. We are about to now go to the grocery store. So I'm gonna take you along with me to the grocery store. I'm gonna show you what I got. And then throughout the week, I'm going to add in different clips and do some voiceovers for what we make and how it went. And yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Oh, I think we can do it. And then when after we go through all of that, I'm gonna come back at the end of the week. So this uh, challenge is gonna go from Friday to Thursday. So I'm gonna come back on Thursday or Friday morning and to let you know how we did, how the meals went, and then if we had any money left over and we'll see how we did. So crossing fingers, here we go. Y'all, I'm here. I'm at Walmart. Oh, let's go. Hey y'all, so I just got back from Walmart and I'm going to show you what I got. Oh, are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so the way that I broke it down on the table is by kind of meals and then miscellaneous. So the first thing I got is some pork chops and I'm going to have Mr. Crafty Budgeter fry some pork chops or grill some pork chops, either fry it on the stove or grill them on the grill. Clearly that's the only other place that you can grill, grill things. All right. So this is for my stuffed pepper soup. This is the first time I'm going to make it. So I got some Italian sausage some tomato sauce, an onion, vegetable broth, and basil. And like I said in my previous clip, I have a lot of, I raided the pantry, I raided the freezer. And so this is not all of the ingredients, but these are just things that I needed to make sure that I get the recipe right. So I'll put the, all the recipes down below, but for right now, this is all I needed for that meal. Then I'm going to be doing chicken tacos and I got some taco seasoning, some 
cheese, lettuce, sour cream, and salsa. And then I thought I would do some dessert. Y'all, your girl's stuffing it up a little bit. So I found this like quick and easy uh, dessert recipe where you just need, I believe it's just oil, the cake mix, and then the peaches to make peaches, peach cobbler. Yo, yo. I'll try to take pictures of everything so you see it. And then this is just like the miscellaneous section. So my son's birthday is coming up, so I needed candles. Um, my son only eats sweet potatoes for his vegetables and i thought we could have that with one of the meals we also have some frozen vegetables that we're going to be cooking milk is a staple ketchup we needed golden oreos uh, my son loves those fruit cup apples and uh what are these called goldfish many of these things are more for my son for his snack for school um we just needed a couple of other things but y'all all of this came to hold on let me see where's the receipt let me see. And I'm not going to show you the whole receipt because it has like the location of where it's at. But it all came to $52.86. So first step, go to the grocery stores, get the items that we need. We'll see how we do the rest of the week. Crossing fingers. Here we go. Hold on. Wait a minute. Two snaps. Bye-bye. So this is what we cooked for our first dinner of the week. We made chicken tacos, really simple, really easy. All you need are chicken breasts, the taco seasoning, and salsa. You put everything into the crock pot. Again, this is a crock pot meal. And then you are ready to go, really easy. So we put it on, I believe it was high for four hours or you can do low for six or seven hours. And then once you let it go, let it cook, you then will shred it with, I just took two forks and shredded the chicken, and then you have your sides that you can put on it. So we had, as you can see, lettuce, we had cheese, uh, taco shells, we had some sour cream, and some hot sauce. You had to have a little hot sauce. And then this is what the final product looked like. Don't judge me for my paper plate. It is what it is. I asked Mr. Crafty Budgeter what he rated it, and he gave it an eight. So our first meal worked out. Here we go, on to meal number two. Okay, so this is meal number two. This is our pork chop meal. Mr. Crafty Budgeter fried some pork chops. He has his own fixing flour seasoning. Well, as you can see, the little simmer. And then this is the finished product. Again, another paper plate. This one's a little bit better. Anyway, um, we did some, uh, what's it call it? Potatoes on the side with the pork chops and I put my hot sauce and Mr. Crafty Budgeter does ketchup, put whatever you want on it, but it turned out really well, nice and crispy. Okay, and this is the last meal that I'm going to be showing you that we had for dinner. It was the stuffed pepper soup. Now you will see the ingredients right here. Again, I'll have everything listed down below. Um, side note, don't come for me in the comments about my dirty stove. The stove is really dirty. You probably didn't even notice it until I brought it up right now, but I feel like because I noticed it, I'm gonna have to say something. What was going on? I have no idea, but it'll get cleaned. And then, so I put everything on the stove, cooked the mild sausage and onions, then drained it, put it all into the crock pot with all of the other seasonings and the rice, and then let it cook for I believe I did another, I think I did this on low for six or seven hours, can't remember. And then you will see the final product right here. Y'all, it was good, it was really good. Mr. Crafty Budgeter gave it an eight or nine, which you know, two snaps, I'm really happy about, happy about because you know I don't really cook that much. So he was very impressed that I brought out some new moves with the cooking. Um, this was our third meal. It was really good. We had sweet potatoes on the side. Delicious. Sorry, I didn't get a picture of it at the end. All right, y'all. I'm back. It's Friday morning. Yeah, I know. I didn't. It didn't happen for me to record <laughs> last Thursday, but that's okay because now I can do a full recap of how the week went. And yeah, the week just. It was a week. When I tell you it was a week, it was a week. Uh. Yeah, we've been at home all week because your, son, your girl's son just, he got the COVID. Like, your girl, it, he got the COVID, right? But 
I still did the challenge. We just didn't go anywhere. We didn't go anywhere and that's totally fine. I, literally that his birthday was on Sunday, Monday. Hello there, COVID. Nice to meet you. He's doing fine. Totally fine. Uh, but let's get back into how we did for this challenge. So you saw some of the clips of each day, what we did, what we ate, kind of giving a little video of everything. And now it's just to give you a recap. So where we spent our money, we went to Walmart to do our grocery shopping. We went to Chipotle for our eating out. And then we did another eating out trip to Burger King. I just had to get out of the house for a little bit. Just when you're inside every day, all day, you're like, I'm going somewhere. And <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just wanted something different for lunch. Like, I like leftovers, but after a while sometimes I'm like, okay, I just need to eat something else. So we went to Burger King and got something to eat. And so all of that totals, so for, I have it written down. So for Walmart, we spent $57.97. At Chipotle, we spent $22.95. And at Burger King, we spent $11.62. I have all of the receipts other than... Burger King because you know they like put it on the bag and then I threw the bag in the trash so all of that totals $92.54 again I'm looking down because it's right here because I didn't want to mess up any of the numbers which means we have five six seven dollars and 46 cents left over y'all we did it we stayed within our challenge of $100. Do you think I probably would have went over if I wasn't stuck in the house all week? Probably, probably. But who? it is what it is. This is what the week was and this is how much we had to eat and what we bought and all of that. So it was actually kind of fun. I actually enjoyed making the meals. Mr. Crafty Budgeter enjoyed many of the meals as well. Like I had him rate them and I believe I said them in the clips what Mr. Crafty Budgeter rated the meals. He cooked the pork chops, he fried them, they were delicious. But yeah, it can happen. I think what is really important is that you have to have a plan going into this whole process or just on a weekly basis. Like I said in the, the beginning of the week is that a lot of times people go over on their groceries or eating out and a lot of times it's because if they just don't really have a plan, they go to the grocery store and they're just like walking down the aisles and trying to figure it out as they go. And I think what's really important is that you plan ahead and stick with that plan, right? Like stick with it. Don't be swayed by the chips or the cookies or this or that when you're in the aisles. Just stick with the plan. Make a list. I had a list ready to go and that really helped me um, to really stick with it and make it fun. Like I had my son in the kitchen dancing with me when I was cooking and Mr. Crafty Budgeter and had him rate what the meals are and I think that just makes it a little bit fun and it's not just like the same thing over and over again every day because like I said I don't really like cooking but trying to find ways to make it exciting really helped so that's it y'all we did it two snaps we stayed within our hundred dollar challenge for food I'm interested to see what my girls Kristen and Rochelle did make sure that you check their videos I will link them down below if I ha if they're up by the time I upload mine. If not, I will do it when they when they do upload. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was something different on this channel. I love just incorporating new content in this channel, not just about budgeting, like paper budgeting and paying off debt all the time. Like, what are the other things that go into the daily lives? that are into our daily lives that can help us reach our goal as well. So that's it. That's all I got for you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like and comment. Make sure that you subscribe to the Crafty Budgeter fam. We have fun over here. Have a great rest of your week. See ya. Bye-bye.